Alright, welcome back to The Walking Dead. When we last left off, we met Tomeed and Krista. I'm glad someone's managed to keep this spirit. I really hope that music isn't copyrighted. Ben, what do you have to say about Got all this? Got a clear view up there? Yeah, we're good for a ways. Thank God. We need someone, anyone, to come along and... Exterminate them or something. Oh shit. Walkers, man. You know, sometimes you might see me take care of one because I have to. But don't start thinking they don't horrify me. I'm glad somebody else feels that way. I'm telling you, Lee, if they ever get a hold of me, and I know I'm not getting out of it, that's it, man. I'm just gonna punch my own ticket. Punch your own ticket? Yeah. Take myself out. Don't be dramatic. <laughs> I agree with Lee. He is being a bit over dramatic. Don't get a hold of Can I talk to Ben more? As soon as that thing comes down, we'll be on our way. Yeah. And I hope we won't have any more trouble out of you. I promise you won't. Oh, I doubt that. All right, let's see how Kenny and Omid are doing. How have you two made it this far? You seem dangerously normal. Krista doesn't let us join groups, and I'm a fucking scrap. I got the feeling she takes care of you. Please. I've saved her ass hundreds, tens, sometimes. Good to know. Learning the ropes? Can't be too hard, right? There are a lot of levers I can't wait to use. I said if something were to happen to me, maybe we can drive in shifts. We'll see. So how long have you been away from home? How long since you've been home? Like six months. We were on the road for a while and then, you know. That's rough. Our cat is gonna be pissed. Talk to you later. Yeah, probably. There's a good chance. Teaching him anything? Trying to. I don't know what that does yet. Don't touch it. I said don't <laughs> touch it, jackass. Alright, let's see how Chris and, uh... Clementine, you're doing? You interrogating this woman for us? Yep. She set off any alarm bells? Not yet. She's very thorough. That's what I like to hear. Hey there. That's a pretty useful radio for her to be holding on to, no? It's busted, but it means something to her. Oh, I understand. Where are you from? San Francisco. Jeez, a long way from home. I blame the one in there. He wanted the great American road trip. Well, he got a little more than he bargained for, huh? Who it's like a plot a to a horrible movie. Anyway, other than old white guys. The look on Lee's face Wonder. right now. You two will be thick as thieves. Careful, she's a crack shot now. You got this girl shooting You learned Domit is interested in Southern Omid history. Election. You aren't getting one. It's good. She should be able to take care of herself. Not sure how we'll get that tank down. Maybe ask Omid. He likes to break things. What were you two arguing about when I was coming up the ladder? Nothing. If you're gonna be around for a while, be good to know what baggage you got. Then maybe we won't be around for a while. Wow, she was needlessly rude. Alright, let's go see if we can talk to Omid about anything. You. Talk to you later. Alright, never mind, Lee. All 
All right, we have nothing, nothing more to do up here, over here. Can I follow you over there? You don't like the new girl? I do, but it's like we're a team, like you said. Yeah, all right, come on. Clementine and I are checking out this train station, all right? Hustle over if you hear anything. Loading screens. Oh, that is not a good sign. Somebody must have been pretty desperate. That paint has been dry for months. Yeah, seems like it. I have a good feeling that there are definitely people in there. Them being alive, however, is debatable. You know, it seems like everything in The Walking Dead, if it has survivors inside, it really means this place is infested with zombies. Oh, I bet they will. You should wait for me before trying to open doors. Sorry. Uh, luckily, it's locked. We'll get better at working together. The window's open up there. Maybe I could look in? Yes, yes, you can. Why don't I put you on my shoulders and you can peek into that window up there? Sounds good. Okay, I can see in. What do I do now? What do you see? Lots of crates and stuff. Maybe we can find the key or figure out a way to knock this door down. Kenny'd probably have me pick the lock, which actually might work now that we have the time. I think I opened it. <laughs> For real? I think so. Well, that was easy. Well, I'll be damned. Let's go. My screen froze Careful. for a second. I'm supposed to tell you that. God damn, it's dark in here. Maybe I can hold the door open? I don't like that. I'll prop it open with something. Why is there a time limit? Wish that thing was in my hands instead of over there. It's too dark otherwise. What would have happened if I had run out of time right there? How we doing? Good. What do we need? Something to help us deal with the taker out there. That's exactly what we need. Over there? Yeah, we need to get in there and get that blowtorch. And I wonder how. There. Not much. We're lucky I'm so little. Here yes, we yes, are. we are. You okay going over the top of this fence? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Go on and grab the keys, Clem. Come on, scoot. I don't like that stare. Behind you! Oh, you could have told me that earlier. Fuck. I am prepared to press A. Okay, one down. Kinda. And two down. Oh, thanks for the help. It's okay, it's okay. Everything's fine.
Oh, this is not good. Keys now. Fuck, it's still locked. You don't say. Fuck, it's still locked. You don't say. So good. No, 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 didn't. It did not go so good, but we're okay. Everything's okay. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. We're fine. Yes, you did. We found some walkers. You and an eight-year-old versus three of them, huh? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I did most of the work, but... We handled it. Yeah, it looks like. What if you hadn't? Then we'd be dead. I'm gonna go make sure the noise didn't cause us any problems. That's a good idea. I hope you know what you're doing with her. I hope you stop being judgmental. We're still alive, aren't we? Yeah, you are. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm a little shaky. It'll pass. I thought I heard something in the background for a second. We got it. Well, let's go outside now. Yeah, that seems like a good idea, and Lee Not just shoves it into the pocket dimension he has in his pocket. <laughs> no, Clem. We learned that everything we will ever do is dangerous. We'll get better, smarter, and faster, okay? Okay. One of the most unrealistic thing about this game, there are no birds anywhere. Well, not as many as there should be. Because, let's be honest, if they're dead walking around, there would be crows everywhere. And I do mean everywhere. I found a blowtorch in the station. Should make quick work of the coupling up there. And I mentioned that Excellent. because I thought I heard a bird. I'll come up there with you to have a look. Wait, wait, nope. Hi, girls. Hey. We were trying to get used to being on our own, Clementine and I. So you take her into a dark, boarded-up building to build character? Yeah. Not exactly. I think it's a good idea, figuring stuff out for yourself, for what it's worth. But be smart about it, though, you know? Teach I, I, I can... I just can't ignore the horrible lip-syncing going on now. Stay the hell out of places like that building over there, especially if you don't have more than one way to get out. And be more afraid of groups of living men than dead folk. That we know. Omid and I are still alive because we're two, not six or eight or ten. I don't believe in strength in numbers, and you shouldn't either. Well, I mean, strength in numbers is how the walkers work, and they're doing pretty good. So, anyone else got anything new to say? Chuck, I just have the option to look at him, can't talk to him for some reason. As soon as that thing comes down, we'll be on our way. Yeah. And I hope we won't have any more trouble out of you. I promise you won't. Yeah, I can't say anything new to anyone, that's unfortunate. Well, on the bright side, the episode's almost over. about the only useful thing in here. It's so nice being able to do this out of sequence. Omid, oh, you got anything to say? Think this'll work? 
Dude, you're cutting metal with fire. How could it not? Uh, there's a flammable that? sign behind that. You oh, might want to make sure there's not Turn a gas leak. I, I don't want my eyebrows burned off. Yeah, I agree with Omid. Better plug that leak with something. Good thing I picked up duct tape. That's never gonna come up again. Hope this holds. That's crazy. Look at it go. Just about got it. Whoa, thanks. No sweat, man. This thing is hanging by a thread. The smallest cut and it'll go. Mm-hmm. Here, the weak portion of the coupling's out of my reach. You think it'll be within mine? Yes. Uh, no, but I'm gonna dangle you over that ledge. The hell you are. <laughs> God, you're a real son of a bitch, aren't you? Shut up and start cutting. Ben, you should have noticed this earlier. Ben, you want to announce anything? Guys! There's something coming! What the what? There must be thousands. We gotta go! Fuck! Omi! Cut! Cut! I am! It's going! Pull me up! And there goes our way. Kenny, go! Shit! What the god, this works. Holy crap! I have no idea what the long-term effect of that was going to be, jump. what they were what? planning with it no anyways. Way. Because what we just did doesn't seem to have any effect. Jump! No! Jump, damn it! Still no! Fine! Oh, Mead, you might want to put a little pep in your step. No, her, not me! Krista, no! Fuck! You piece of shit! She's a woman! Don't you know- Please. Don't you complain about me saving okay. your life. Seen them of none of them are even on fire. Are you hurt? No, we're okay. Speak for yourself. My leg is fucked. We're fine, Clementine. We're fine. Maybe we should shut the door for a moment. She is a drawing of Kenny. Kenny and his family. I do not think Kenny should see that at the moment. We have to find a boat. We just have to. We will. You'll be alright. 
I'll be alive, I guess. Blood in my heart. Blood in my brain, at least. I'll leave you to your thoughts. She's out cold like I've never seen. Um. What the? Can't wait for you to get to Savannah, Clementine. I got your parents right here. And you be sure to find me, whether Lee wants you to or not. Now, what I need... Holy shit. I thought that fucking thing was broken. So did I. Well, well then. sounds like somebody knows where we're headed. Who the fuck? I don't know, but I doubt we're going to be happy when we find out. Oh, we are not going to be happy. <laughs> and that's the end. We're almost at the river. You want to get on a boat? You want to wait around till the walkers figure out we're here? We need to focus on finding the boat right now, Clem. Like we talked about on the train. I don't know how much longer he can keep on like this. If his leg gets any worse, we're gonna have to carry him. Or leave him. If I were you, I'd get out of the street. Now! Who the hell is this? Answer me, damn it! So when were you gonna tell us about the radio? That's not your business. You've been talking to. You come back here, I'll kill you. You understand? I will kill you. Episode four, round every corner. All right. Forty percent of the players shot the girl in the street. Fifty-four percent of players did not leave. Did not abandon Lily. You know, 45% of players talked Kenny down. I expected that be, to be higher. You at... Oh, wow. Wow, you and 18%. That is not a popular choice. You and 60% of players helped Omid. Not that many long-lasting... Long-lasting choices for this episode. Anyways, that was episode 3 of The Long Road Ahead. I will continue the next episode tomorrow, probably. And, yeah. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and... Uh, be sure to actually watch the next part. Every view helps. And see you next time.